So in a previous video, I was looking at the probabilities of um, molecules being in various parts of a room and comparing those. And, 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 it, and as we saw, what happens is most of the probabilities, individual probabilities drop out, and we're really just comparing number of configurations. And so in this video, I'm going to start with that idea of just kind of number of configurations, combine it with some physics of conservation of energy and ideal gas law, and derive perhaps the most fundamental uh, rule in the, in the universe. So we imagine uh, that, that we have a box or a room, and we're going to kind of subdivide it into a number of different, different sections. And there are, let's say, n, and I'll, I'll make them labeled. That makes the math a little easier. Um, uh, molecule, so I have, you know, molecule number one, and molecule number two, and molecule number three, and number four, and number five, and et cetera, et cetera, as they're, as they're all, all around. And I have k kind of partitions here, or actually, uh, I rather, uh, I won't do partitions, I'll say sections, because that way that'll be, again, that'll be a little easier. So I have k sections. In this case, I have one, two, three, four, five sections. Um, and I want to know, you know, first of all, kind of how many different configurations there are. Now, the, the reason why I do labels is it makes it a little easier. Each um, uh, each molecule can be in one of k configurations, there are n molecules, and so we end up with k to the n uh, uh, configurations. Okay, so that's not that's not too hard. Uh, it would be approximately true even with the uh, uh, unlabeled, uh, just gets messier with all the factorials, but the, the logic of, the, of what I'm doing is going to be similar. Now what if the k were, you know, uh, I can increase k by just kind of dividing up this, this, uh, um, this box a little bit more, um, and the and the k is still the same. So the, so so I mean it's, it's a different k, but you know we could just say okay we have just you know more more little boxes. Now if it, it turns out if it, if it's each box is say one meter squared, then k is related to something we already know about the box, and that is its volume. Okay, and so and so if that's the case, that means that the number of configurations is going to be basically the volume you know, raised to the n. Now there might be a constant in there because of the units used and so on, but it's going to, but it's going to have this form. The number of configurations uh, will increase if we increase the volume, uh, or it'll increase if we increase the number of molecules. In this case, we're going to keep the number of molecules constant. Um, but, but we might you know, have increased the volume in, 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 some, in some way. So how, how could we increase the increase the volume in some way? So let's imagine I take this room and I put in the floor, I put a heater. So this is warm down here. And and we know that, that if we heat up a, a gas, it, you know, it may try to expand. And and so it's going to like, you know, say, say, say the, the, the room can kind of stretch a little bit. Uh, we can, we can you know, it'll, it might increase in, 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 its, in its volume. This little change in volume, I'm going to just call dv, just so that little, you know, the change in the, in, in the volume, the full volume is the volume of the, uh, of, of the room, room itself. And in order to do that, some heat has to go into here, and we're going to do like a, just a little bit of heat, and I'll call that little bit of heat, I'll call it, you know, delta Q, that turns out to be the standard notation for, for, for this uh, delta Q, but just, you know, just a small amount of, a small amount of, uh, of heat. So, conservation of energy says that the work done has to be the pressure times the change in volume, and so the amount of heat, and essentially the, the, the energy for, for the amount of heat, has to be equal to the, to the pressure times the little change in, in volume. So this is uh, essentially just l using conservation of energy. Okay. The number of configurations goes up by how, how much? So it starts at uh, at this amount. Okay. So so the, let's look at the kind of the ratio. So we'll say the uh, kind of the number of configurations final over initial. 
Okay, so initially we have something that's on the order of you know v to the n, um, and then afterward it's a little bit bigger by a little bit of volume, and then that's raised to the to the n, and and that simplifies a little bit to one plus dv over v um, raised to the n. So this is just uh, I think so. This is just the ratio of those of those two. We can now apply the ideal gas law. So the ideal gas law says that p relates pressure and volume. It also relates the number of molecules, Boltzmann's constant, and the temperature. So what that does is it makes it so that this term here is just NKT over V, that's the pressure part, times dV. So that's, that's the uh, thing. And notice we get the dV over V here in, in this equation and we get it in the uh, uh, number of configurations. Okay, so now we get the number of configurations equation looking more like this. We get 1 plus delta Q over n k t, the whole thing raised to the n. Okay, so that just gives me the number of configurations. So all I've done is counted up the number of configurations, shown that this pretty much scales as the volume to the raise of the number of molecules, applied conservation of energy, the ideal gas law, and then now we're relating the configurations to things like heat and temperature and these sorts of things. Now, I'm going to, because these numbers tend to be rather large, I'm going to take the uh, logarithm of, of this, and this will give us um, the log, essentially, of this, of, of this difference. Um, and so we get, essentially, the log of the difference between the final the log of the initial, so so, so the initial, uh, um, the differences in, in, in the logs from initial to final, um, uh, gives us an n natural log. And we'll do, we'll do, I'm going to be talking natural logs here, but I, like a physicist, I write out kind of lazily um, the, as, as just log delta Q over n K T. So that's, that, that's all it is. Now, um, the one approximation we're going to make here is that this one is very small compared to the rest of this. I mean, so essentially, and a lot of that comes from the fact that Boltzmann's constant is like negative 10 to, 10 to the negative 23, and so that's going to make almost any number really uh, big here. Uh, but we can kind of approximate this as, as, as simply delta Q over kt because the ends would, would would end up canceling so and and this is the the uh difference of the logs of the configurations um and and so we can the uh, the log of the configuration is is, is often uh given the the uh, um abbreviation s s final minus n s initial uh is is that sometimes we might we might want to just call that delta s um, so that way we can, you know, just look at the change in this value of, uh, of S, which really is a change in the, uh, uh, <coughs> um, in, in there. And, and actually by, by convention, the, um, S is often defined more as K times, depending on the, depending on the, on the convention, uh, K times the log of W, in which case we can go back and um, uh, this difference will simply be, um, you know, S final over K, over K, over K, and over K. So the, um, uh, so we have that, 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 that change. So what we've done is we've essentially said, okay, we're just to kind of summarize where we are here. Um, we have uh, we're just counting up the number of configurations of a um, uh, of molecules in the box, how it scales with volume, applied conservation of energy, applied the ideal gas law, and came up with a quantity uh, where it talks about the change in the number of configurations of the system as we put heat in at a particular temperature. All right, now just to kind of you may notice this from chemistry. This S is in fact the uh, the entropy, and it, but it but it really is uh, related to the number of configurations, kind of really the log of the number of configurations again scaled by by, by this. So we can do a, a simple example uh, in the uh, we'll do a, a few examples in the next video where we use this to calculate one the number of changes in configurations when we heat something up like a glass of water, but also what consequences it has when when heat moves around.